So today we're just going to be doing a quick run through of how to send emails in email marketing v2. So the first step you want to do is select the email marketing v2 tab, then select send emails. You'll want to select the recipients you want to send your email to. We have an extensive default list that you can choose from. This will include your current participants, past participants, fundraisers, donors, volunteers, so on and so forth. You can upload a custom list if you want as well. So here, let's send an email to all of our past participants. So we'll include last year's participants and also our past participants. But let's also exclude our current participants. So we don't want to actually send this email to any of our current participants. This is going to be a more of a promotional email to our past participants, trying to get them to register, maybe give them a coupon code or something like that. So we'll hit save. And the next thing you want to do is type in the subject of your email. And then we'll go ahead and create our email. So once you get to this step, there's a couple options that you're going to choose from. The first option that we always recommend, we also have a separate video on why you should be using templates, but we do always recommend you create templates and then you can use these templates across all of your races. So one option is to use your saved templates. Another option is using our pre-built templates. Um, we've done a lot of work with our development team, our UI team, and our marketing team to create templates that we think are useful for all of our customers. So we have like a donation fundraising template, automated email templates, pre and post race templates. So you can choose from our list of pre-built templates. And then if you want, you can also essentially build your own. You can start from scratch or you can start from a very basic template and customize it from there. So usually you would pick a saved template or a pre-built email, but we'll do a basic template to show you how things can be built in an email. You can add new sections, and that can either be a one column, a two column, or a three column. You can put text in one side of the column, maybe an image in the other. Maybe do a one column section with your sponsors. And you can build out as many sections as you need. Maybe include a button that goes to your registration page. Say sign up today. Put a QR code in here. That could also go to your registration page. Put some text information. And then once you have your email all set up the way you want to, which hopefully will look a lot better than just this default text. And lonely ghost. Yeah, and the lonely ghost. You can either save that as a draft or continue. Oh, and you can also change the theme color if you want to. So then we can continue. So once you select continue, we're going to give you an overview of what you've just done. So we're going to show you who the email is going to go to or who the email is not going to go to. We're going to show you the subject and then we're going to show you the email that you just built. And we'll show you what a desktop version will look like and also what it'll look like on mobile. You can choose a new template if you're not happy with what you've done, or you can edit the existing email and maybe add additional buttons, remove a couple things, change the color or anything like that. Once you're good with everything, go ahead and select review email. And this will show you the number of total participants that the email is going to go to. You can set it up so that the email can be sent immediately, or if you want to schedule it and send it at a later time, you can definitely do that as well. I think in most cases, you're going to want to schedule the email and not just send it right away. You'll probably want to prepare the email first and then set a date on when you want to send it. Here you can also set what kind of email this is, either marketing or transactional. So this one, this is a time to sign up and save. This is more marketing. But if you're sending something on packet pickup or parking information for race day, that would be more transactional. And the reason why you want to select the correct thing here is because if people are getting your marketing emails and they unsubscribe, they won't be unsubscribed from transactional as well and vice versa. Now also in here we have deduplication options. This controls how many copies of the email get sent out to each contact. So you can have it deduplicate on email only, email and name, or email name and placeholders. And speaking of placeholders, I realized I forgot to tell you something in the email. So let's go edit the email. And within the text, you can actually add placeholders to say first name. Maybe you want to say hello first name in the email, kind of personalize it. Did you know that the race was happening? 
at and then you could put in the race location so we have a bunch of placeholders that you can put in there that just pull in information from your existing site so going back to review email again you can look at both versions mobile and desktop and when you're ready you can send that email